together. There are some who will never know. What's up, everybody? We got next episode of the Guardian Gauntlet. Playing Athena versus Baron. So, uh, uh, I'd say Athena loses this just because of Baron's root and alt. But we can dash out of his alt if it's up. It's just very disadvantaged. Like, Athena's, Athena's escape is one of the very, very few escapes in the game you have to actually charge. So by, by the time I'm done charging it, I'm probably going to get hit by the alt or I'm going to be too close that I can't dodge him. So we'll see. Uh, one thing you can go on Athena is Hunter's Blessing. It does work with the reach, but I don't think that would be too good here. So we're gonna go to Mage's Blessing. And we'll also go Beads. If we can't beat his root, um, we're forced to take tons of damage. And just the fact of having Beads up will kind of make him think twice about dumping his kit. So we'll just be taking damage less uh, overall. I hope anyways. Also, I should have left base by using an um, ability from a passive, but that's okay. We'll try our best to win this. Um, I do think Baron wins this late, so we're going to have to win the early. Um, if I get a bunch of anti-heal, I can contest the late, maybe. Like, I'm talking... I'm talking at least Blessings Divine Rune, maybe more. Okay, try to auto him. Nope, I missed the reason to auto him is good is to get all the minions close together for my three but and it's kind of not always easy to hit pull him so that he takes damage from minions all right cool he's a half health yeah if we can get a first blood that'd be amazing however he has beads i'm gonna try to get his beads here try to get his beads or something there we go. That's worth. That's big worth. He's still at lower health than us. And I got his beads. He might actually back. Ah, that hits. That sucks. I didn't want to heal him, but... Well. Okay, okay. He's pretty low. I wonder if I can... Good stuff. Very good. Knew he didn't have knew he didn't have beats. Um, normally I go for the auto attack cancel with the three two, but when my two only has one point in it, it actually doesn't taunt for long enough where he could possibly walk out of it, and it wasn't worth risking it when he would have for sure been dead. Also, upgrading the speeds early might be a good play. I'll think about it. Um, red buff's coming up. I'm just gonna take this, though. He's probably gonna take it. Remember on Athena, don't level up the ult. It's useless in duel. You can't use it. I feel like for Athena, everybody always suggests she should be able to ult to towers and Phoenix, but I think that would be kind of OP in Conquest. I personally feel like Athena should just be able to ult to herself if all of her teammates are dead. The reason I think that's a reasonable suggestion is because that's the way it already works. If you alt to a teammate and they die, Athena just alts to herself. And now you might ask, well, what's even the point of that? Well, in duel, if I'm taking Demon King, having an extra 400 damage ability and some mitigation is pretty good for secure, even if it takes a while to charge. And just stuff like that in general. Like taking Titan or absorbing an ult. Let's say I'm about to get uh, Poseidon Kraken and that I have nothing up. Using that damage mitigation is probably worth it. Oh, we're just gonna walk into it. Better to just walk into it, take the damage, cancel the ult, than to try to get away and take way more damage overall. Yeah, upgrading our beads early might be worth it. Might be. Now, I could go a lifesteal build. Bancroft's, uh, Typhons. Polly is a must on Athena. You have to go Polly. 
on other guardians it's just a good option but athena it's so good because of with her passive it just makes her her auto attacks after abilities do an incredible amount of damage because poly is how much is poly anyways They've changed it so many times over the years. 75%? Yeah, so that'd be 90% of my magical power on just an auto. It's like having an extra ability, which is which makes up for Athena losing ability. If it wasn't for Athena passive, she would be bad in duel. She'd be horrible. But Athena's passive makes her actually really good. She's definitely not the worst guardian in duel, but mo that's most people's first thought. I was like, Athena's the worst god because she has no ult. Well, yeah, she has no ult, but... The rest of her kit is insanely good for fighting. You know? Like Capriol, hey, Capriol's pretty good, but in duel, not really, because then they'll just kill you again. Okay, I got his beads. I wouldn't have even hit him there. Awesome. We need to put another point in our two. Pronto? It's not a word. Is it? That is. I don't know. I woke up not too long ago, so my brain's not. Holy. Okay, hold on. And taunt? Three. Oh, I missed my back. I didn't miss that. A little bit messy of a kill, not not a clean kill, but a kill nonetheless. We're getting to the point where we're fully clearing archers. Oh, uh, this is on the new patch, so uh, minions are fixed. They're not as tanky as they were. Thank goodness. Minions were way too tanky. Oh, this might be risky. I'm all about risky. All about risky. Oh. Two seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna kill with autos anyway. So. Alright, well, do I want to give up this minion wave to be safe and sound? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe not. I can clear it so fast. There's another mini wave coming though, and I cannot, do not want to stay that long. Oh, and now we definitely have to back. Okay, level up our two, which I should have done a while ago. Actually, we're gonna go with these boots since I'm going a life still build, and we're gonna skip defense for now because I'm gonna get such a huge power spike from Typhons, and he won't have any anti heal. It's worth. Just keep in mind we need Pestilence slash Divine Rune. Did I not get that? Really? How did I not get that? Whoa, he is fast. Just me or is he really fast? Oh my god. Just with boots too. Insane. those damn it all right cool i didn't want him to hit his two which is why i beads but he waited on it so it kind of sucks i'll use his two so he's fast so he's able to dodge it easy peasy what was i in that was i in that it didn't look like i was but oh well smite knows best I guess I was in that. Didn't look like I was. <clears throat> I should have gotten the kill there. Made some misplays, that's fine. We need Blink desperately. There's so many times I could kill him, but I can't close the distance because of his movement speed. And just, like, if I use my one, he knows it's coming. And he's able to position himself better. All right, so we get Typhons. We get Pestilence. We get Divine Ruin. Last item could be Poly. The only thing is I have no clue on. So, possibly replace... Yeah, not having cool on would be really bad. It's better to use 3-2 on Athena because you can confirm more damage. But when he's moving this fast, kind of problematic. Let's just run into that. I have nothing to stop it. Yeah. Ugh, gotta love Baron all. Very fun to fight. Very fun to fight. 
Let's upgrade these beads right away. We need them. And now he's ahead. This is not good. Yeah, unfortunately, Baron actually beats most Guardians, like, just straight up. His kit is perfect against them. He's got a lot of uh, appeal with his 3 and his 2, because the move speed it gives, as well as the uh, heal. And his ultimate's obviously extraordinarily good against most Guardians. I, I don't have to fight Baron's most of the time, thank goodness. Plus, his late game's stupid good. Like, I'm talking extremely stupid good. Probably should have. I, I think fighting a late game AMC is better than fighting a late game Baron. But we'll see. Just because of Baron all. And the way he's able to keep that distance, it's a, it's a little infuriating. That hit me, okay. Wow, he actually healed more. Oh my god, I hate Baronal. I hate Baronal. He actually healed more than the damage I dealt to him. Okay. Forgive me, Master. I must go all out. God. Yeah, rushing the Typhons. I thought I'd get a huge power spike, but it's so expensive. That's not gonna work. I wasn't expecting him to get all these kills. Ah, <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was expecting to get Typhons on, uh, up online a little bit faster to keep the snowball going, and then to get my defense right away. Because right now we have 265 power. That's at full health. If I go back, I get Typhons. 361. Pretty big power spike. And that's just from the... The t upgrade from tier 2 to tier 3. That's not even including the... What the tier 2 hat gave me. The 60 power, the tier 2. So, pretty good item. But again, hindsight 2020, getting that defense online would have helped me more. This guy's really far from AT. I couldn't tell if those were up or down. I thought they were down, but then looking at the minimap, I didn't get the vision. I'm hoping Shoes of the Magi wasn't a mistake as well, but it probably was. Alright, he got to find her. Ah, that's not good. It's not good. It should be fine. Typhons give 40% increased healing, so I'll still have a lot of healing. It's mainly if he gets more at that heal. Like, there's no way he'll go with Toxic Blade. But it would actually be beneficial to him. <laughs> How much I'll be healing. Yeah, I'm not fighting you right now. The way you fight, I do not like. Yeah, I need cooldown for things like this. The damage is insane. Let's back off a little bit. He's got a lot of uh, stacks of his passive. But if he misses that... And he missed that too, which is really good. If I dodge his three here, I think we get a kill. Okay. I can't hit him. The stupid attack speed! Oh my god! The attack speed reduction! Oh my god, that's so dumb! That's so dumb! Who was it? Oh Baron's attack speed reduction on his one prevented me from getting the kill. And I'm a guardian for crying out loud. 
And now he gets Phoenix. Man. Waiting for Blink would have been safer. Waiting for Blink would have been safer rather than going in. Wow. I really thought I was going to get the Typhoons online faster, which would have let me get Pestilence and then Divide and Run pretty fast. But it took too long, and now I'm paying for it. Can't believe I didn't get that kill. That's so ridiculous. I couldn't attack him because of that tax reduction. Okay, so if I... I need a little bit more gold. At least these are old. These aren't the Pinky Fire Minions. Oh, that's pretty dumb. Might as well walk into it. I have nothing. Get out. Yeah, cool cooldown would have been better as well. What's another 50 kilograms? I was thinking about that late game power build, but obviously getting there is problematic. We do need wards in case he backdoors. We need to start working on Divine Ruin. Then we can get Polly. Or I could just go straight into Polly to try to have some damage, but he's healing a little bit too much for that, I feel. He's also losing a lot of gold to these uh these fire minions. These fire minions are clearing my my uh, creeps. He's not getting any of it. Maybe I should just let them. And again, maybe not. Because if I let them. Then he could come back in, push it to the Titan. How much health do you have? Okay. It's like I don't want to use my wand. That could be so bad. Yeah, yeah, I did. It's over. Aaron's just. Oh, wait, maybe it's not over? No, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Wait, I blink. I definitely kill him as long as I'm patient. Okay, cool. It's like I get one kill, but look at my Titan, man. Look at my Titan. Look how they massacred my boy. Oh my god. Oh, it's not even enough. It's not even enough. I should be able to get Divine Rune before he comes back, but... I don't know. I'm just gonna try to clear the, the fire creeps. Take my blue buff, maybe. Actually, hold on. Take my blue buff for cooldown, get Divine Ruin. And we have to fight him before he gets to my Titan. If I can even do that. Like, if he stops my back here, it's very bad. Okay. Alright. We don't have beads up. I have some really good items here. We could get a good fight, but his alt is the the wild card. If he gets a good alt, I lose. If he gets a bad alt, or if he waits to, waits the 20 seconds to engage, then hey, we're in we're in a good spot. Or for backdoor. 
Okay, I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is if he's taking forever, I might just get a power potion. Yeah, he's taking forever. Let's get a power potion. Okay. He's getting Corona's Panic, which is super scary. <laughs> which is really scary. Yeah, there's the Corona's Panic. Alright. Fight, fighting him before wasn't scary enough. Oh, I really tried to dodge that. I really tried to dodge that. Okay. I can't move. Yeah, okay. Uh, that was embarrassing. Basically, if I even backed off for a second, uh, he would have killed my Titan, which is why I had to stay in such an aggressive bad position. It's obvious, it's like, why are you putting yourself in your position? Why are you putting yourself right next to him? Basically, if I backed off, my Titan was at so low, he would have died instantly. Alright. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see- I lost- Oh, that's not that much. 44 MMR. 31 TP is a lot, though. Uh, it's a lot of MMR and TP. I- If I were to play this again, I would not go the Typhons right away. I would have went, uh, Pestilence, Divine Ruin, Polly. Um, I just thought I would continue the snowball and I was wrong. All right. I'll see you guys.